Welcome to another session of IC Layout. Today we'll continue the study of the full custom layout. The, we focus on the full custom layout flow. Now, the, you look at your notes. The, we'll be following your lecture notes so you can turn to to your lecture notes on layout design flow and at the very beginning of the notes you'll see full custom design flow okay to the highlighter but I don't have okay you see that the full custom design flow is in this case uh, it says the layout of primitive or leaf cells. Okay, so this is mainly used in cell layout, whether it's analog or digital cell layout. So primitive cells are cells that cannot be broken into smaller cells. They are the very basic ones. So most of the time, these layout cells are drawn from transistor level circuits. Now we talk about a full custom design flow. This includes the two two parts. One is the circuit design and the other is the layout design. Okay, so the, please bear in mind there are two flows here to combine. One is circuit design flow and the other is the layout design flow. So in the full custom design flow is a bottom-up design flow. So what does it mean bottom-up? Basically, it says it means that complex cells are obtained and re from the reuse of primitive cells. So if you, they will use this primitive cells that you built using full custom, put them together to build more complex cells. So and then you put these complex cells together to build. Com simple systems and you put simple systems together to build the a complex system so the in the case of the full custom design flow this is a very much a bottom up design flow okay so the if you look at the diagram on the right as i said the consists of two parts one is the circuit design flow and the other is the layout design flow let's look at the circuit design flow first you start with design specifications this basically you work with the customer to describe the expected functionality okay so what do you, what the customer expects the what function it's supposed to do then you will do the circuit design and it's captured normally using a schematic editor. So you draw your circuit schematics using such a computer-aided design tool called the schematic editor. All right, so the schematic editor drawing will describe the values of the electronic components and the connections of these components. All right. Uh, after, for example, you could draw an inverter using transistors and then you later will create a symbol, a logic symbol for the inverter. Alright, so the, after you have done your schematic capture, you would then abstract the schematic capture into the symbol view. What does abstraction mean? Is made is basically hiding the certain complexities in the draw circuit drawing, uh, depending on what you intend to do. So, in the case of a, if you just want to do a logic design, you just need to, to look at logic symbols and not look at transistors. So, the, in this case, the schematic view is abstracted into the symbol view. Then uh, you need to verify that your design works. 
So you do a simulation using the simulation tools. And then uh, based on the simulation results, you will decide if you need to redesign or change certain parameters in the devices to obtain the necessary performance. If everything goes on well, then the, the final schematics will be produced and then you go to your layout phase, layout, layout flow. So the, in the layout flow, you start with the layout editor. So this is using a layout editor. The, here in the full custom layout, the physical layout is very tightly linked to the circuit performance. All right. So it uh, is also try to use as little silicon area. And so the, the as a result, the detailed mass layout that you're going to do is very intensive and time consuming. So because full custom layout is very time consuming, we would try to reuse this, uh, what we do. Uh, that's why we have this concept of the cell layout. Now once the layout is done, then we need to check if the layout meets the, the, the design rules specified by the semiconductor manufacturer. So we will use a design rule checker. Okay, we'll be talking about design rules in greater detail in the following week. So to, for the time, meantime, just know that uh, a design rule checker is used to detect any design rule violation. And these design rules come from the semiconductor vendor. We then do the, the device extraction all right, here the extractor is capable of identifying individual transistors and their interconnections. All right, so then the, we, we will extract a net list. That means uh, uh, what we call a, how, how to describe it? A, a list of uh, components that are written in uh, written in something like English, no? and uh, they would describe the connections and the devices that are used in the circuit. The extracted net list and the parameters is subsequently used in the layout and versus schematic comparison. Okay, so you have gone to layout, the design rule, you have done the extraction, and now you do the layout versus schematic. So this layout versus schematic check is to compare the original network with the extracted one from the layout. And if both the, they will check for the devices and the interconnections and if it's all correct then uh, you can proceed to the post layout simulation um, otherwise you need to go back and correct your layout okay so to, because of your layout you would add in some parasitic devices such as resistance and capacitances so you need to extract out these parasitic devices and then read let the designer re-simulate the circuit and to see if the circuit still performs the, as well after layout. If it doesn't, then the, we may have to change some aspects of the layout or some aspects of the design. Okay, there are two references here. The we have gone through this uh, article, what is full custom design by Dan Klein in an earlier video. The, this is a the, um, paper which you may want to have a look at it.
but uh, that's optional. All right, that's it for full custom IC layout flow. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.